Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, the W3 uh, validator which is uh, here in order to check if your web page is following the standards of the web. So here you have a website which is uh, the following one and if I pass it uh, through uh, the HTML checker I'm going to see that I have some mistakes uh, which are over here. Um, the most difficult thing here is to read and understand what the mistake is about and how to fix it. Uh, just to let you know that by fixing those mistakes, sometimes if you don't know what you are doing, you may harm your website even more. Um, but uh, most of the time, if you read the documentation carefully, you should be alright. So let's read uh, what's going on here. So here it's telling me that there is an error, uh, telling me that there is duplicate attribute uh, rel element at line number 14 colon 61. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check my website and um, so once I said it was line number 14 and line number 14 as you can see over here it's telling me that I have twice the attribute rel so I need to find a way uh, to mix those two together. So what I did uh, in first intention is that I look at my source code I saw here a semicolon, I saw over here a, a comma and I thought that a comma or a semicolon will be good whereas uh, if I do this it will break uh, my website. So I'm not going to do this and I look for information on the internet I found out this post on Stack Overflow and on Stack Overflow one is saying okay can I just put two value with a space and uh, one is saying okay it's, it's valid so here is the official source of course one need to read here but uh, it seems that actually it works if you put a space so that's what I'm gonna do here so I'm gonna access on my server on this given page and I'm just gonna make the changes on my on my source code so I'm just gonna go like this I'm gonna go over here uh, then after of course you can ask yourself uh, how is it possible that there are some mistakes well, probably because the templates that uh, you stole or that you copy and paste or you take out from the internet, uh, the developer at the time at which he or she wrote uh, the code uh, was not uh, following the latest standard. So that may be uh, one reason. And uh, so here the changes have been taken into consideration as you can see over here as you can see over here and i can pass it uh, through the w3 validator and as you can see the errors are gone so now i just need to take care of this uh, given script and it's always the same thing i need to uh, read over here what this mistake is about changing it and then i will be fine